famous burger location throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one the only Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination, and he's done from the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it. The knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot to finish it. Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145 I've ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a 105. him in ways that he has not been pushed before. Does Sean O'Malley use his fantastic footwork, his speed, and his mind to set enough traps to get the victory? I guess we'll see very shortly. Well, you all know the judges are looking for damage and moments of damage, and Sean O'Malley has been pretty good at providing those over the last several years in the UFC. tape for this Bantamweight Championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this one. I mean, how good is this? I'm a little bit anxious as Sean O'Malley and Jose Aldo get set to engage here. I think a lot of people in the U.S. Sports UFC 5 are going to put this match up together. Yeah, people are going to play this one because Jose Aldo, as he continued in his career, you saw improved boxing skills. You saw a guy that was just better with his hands. But Sean O'Malley, I mean, the traps that he sets, the angles that he cuts, his striking is that next level of striking. He's so comfortable, cool, and collected inside the octagon with four-ounce gloves. We have not seen that much. He's a tremendous boxer, but that will be tested tonight against Jose Aldo, the legend. Oh, great block there. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts it with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, lands a beautiful jab. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. 
Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, beautiful hook by Aldo. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Just out of range with that left hook. Circling towards the left. Nice front kick there. Caught that kick there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, good block there. Left hand. Under a minute now to go. Aldo gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh, big knee there. Solid kick by him there. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get that way, there's not much you can do. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Second round on the road. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick to sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about Sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw. Nice jab by Aldo. Oh, nice. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Aldo. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Hook lands. Swing and a big miss by Alba. Missed with that attempt. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Superman punch now. Upstairs with the kick. All 
right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there, and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. 15 seconds to go. Good round. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Round three of a possible five. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. Let's right from the start. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but... Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Oh, big knee! He's got to keep pressing here. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent still standing. I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, Ali's oh, oh, yeah. Now he's back up. Oh, oh, gotta keep pressing here. is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus is to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Oh! Made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, yeah. He can't even stand. Right back. to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. O'Malley's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, you can sense the corner frustration. He has not had any answer for these body shots, and now you see the visible damage. Well, his coaches are wondering, where's the defense? We worked on this. Oh, right there! Ooh, diving punch lands. I'll stop this. You're gonna fight that. Yeah. Yeah. Great job of being busy on the back. Lands a beautiful strike to the bottom. O'Malley's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Oh, good ground and pound here. Aldo getting pampered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Straight punch, that is useful. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better. Oh, we're getting a finish here. The official decision is now in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Sugar Shaw. So Sugar Sean O'Malley gets it done yet again tonight as